Hey guys, it's Artemis, and I'm here bringing you a what's in my makeup bag. It's kind of like a what's in my bag, but it's my makeup bag because I do, I did just recently get a new purse, and I haven't really had the chance to use it yet because I haven't gone out shopping because I did all of, I spent all my money doing online shopping for Black Friday, for Christmas gifts, for everything, so I haven't actually had to put any anything in that yet, but. I will be using it upcoming, so if you like this video, maybe you can tell me to do that video in the future. But for now, let's get started on what's in my makeup bag. First off, let's just look at the bag itself. It's a soft bag, as you can tell, because it's like squishing down and you can mold it to your things, which is really nice for shoving it in my show choir bag when I have to bring all my makeup to show choir. It is just like a floral pattern bag, and a whole handle at the top as a hard her bottom and it's by the brand of Sophia Joy if that matters to you but let's go and look what's inside of it that actually gets you down an angle here woo we have some beautiful camera angles here beautiful so you open it up and whoa in here I have just a little clear thing to protect some things in here. And you see, I have. Oh, this is just a sample of some naked skin color correcting things. And in here, I have my foundation, which is the Clinique Acne Solutions Liquid Makeup in Fresh Alabaster, their lightest shade they have. I've only been using this for a little amount of time, so I don't know how well it actually helps with acne, but it certainly hasn't provoked my acne at all, and it matches my skin tone perfectly, and pro it provides about moderate coverage. It's buildable. Inside, I also have Wet n Wild some glitter shadows. I'm sorry if I'm holding it down here where you can't see. Some glitter shadows in Spiked and Bleached. These are for show choir. I wouldn't actually usually wear these. But these are for show choir. We use the silver in show choir. I thought we needed the white, but we apparently don't. So, I have those in there. I have some very dirty mini beauty blenders in here that I got from some box I had. I also have the Sunday Riley Martian Mattifying Water Gel Toner. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Pore Minimizing Primer here, and these were both samples I got, and I'm currently still using them up. In here, I have the Afo Beauty Blender. It's like little cat paw, but it's kind of dirty, covered in my foundation right now. But it just has a little handle, and I use this to apply my foundation with. And in here, we have the Sumptuous Extreme Mascara as well as the Pacifica Power of Love lipstick which is this color which you might have seen in I believe my November favorites which was my very first video on this channel actually so there's that in here I have some things. I just have a uh, drugstore lip smacker sprite chapstick as well as just a clean mascara brush that I use to separate my eyelashes after I put on mascara because a lot of my mascara clumps up. Speaking of mascara, here I have a Benefit Their Real Mascara as well as also for show choir a Rimmel Scandal Eyes. Uh, eyeshadow stick and it's just a white eyeshadow stick. Basically how our show choir makeup goes is we rub this all over our eyes and then we cover it in that silver spiked uh, shadow stuff and then on the outside we have a dark smoky eye color. It can either look really good if someone who knows how to do it does it or really bad if I do it. Then I have the bunnies collection a uh, Tarte Lip Paint and Swamp Family Red, which I really like. I use this for my lips and show choir often, so that's nice. And then Napsu Staple of Mine, I've been loving it. 
is the Kat Von D's Hat 2 Liner. And honestly, I don't care about brands and stuff, but it's just a felt tip liner. And if you guys saw my empties, you know how much I hated the LA Colors eyeliner? That was just an absolute mess. Never get LA Colors liquid eyeliner. It's terrible. Then in here, I have the CoverGirl uh, Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer, I believe it is. At least I used it as a concealer. And then also just a really cheap Revlon nail file. I don't prefer to use these, but usually if I'm doing this, I have this just when I'm on the go. Otherwise, I have some regular glass nail files that I use to file my nails. Like this one right here. It's just purple, and I, it's a glass nail file that I use to file my nails. That's just for on the go if I'm re really in a pinch and I need that. So that's all the stuff in this top compartment. So that's all close that up. Oh wait, I forgot about this zippered section. Inside of here, I have the Gay Girl, Girl Swamp Queen palette. Which, this is what it looks like if you have not seen it. This is the Gator Wings highlighter. The Does This Thing Really Work? Blush and Sweet Tea bronzer, as well as nine eyeshadow shades. My favorites are probably Man Cat, Dog Man, and either Uncommon or Sassy Bun. Sippy Sippy is also really nice, but I don't often use it because I, I don't like browns near my eyes. So it's really pretty, but I don't use it. And then it has just a little mirror. And then I also have my Z palette that I got from Etsy. That I'll link the store I got it from down below. I'm blanking on the name. But it was the Girl on Fire one. I believe it's a one of a kind. It's really pretty. I love it because my favorite color is red. And then I also really like gold as can be told by my hair. It's fire. And so Z palette. It's an absolute mess. But in here I have my powder foundation that I used to use exclusively and with no liquid. Now I use an addition to my liquid. Another blush that I don't even know how old this is, but here it is. And then this is the Lunatic Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder, I believe. So that's what that is. And then a variety of eyeshadows I've ripped from multiple palettes. I believe this was a Maybelline palette, but I have honestly no idea which Maybelline palette it is. And they're all just here together in a nice little palette, and I honestly love this. To have my face, I just like mix these two and cover my face in it, and then spray some setting spray on it. It's not necessarily conventional, but it works well. At least for my definition of well. In addition to that, I also have my two favorite lipsticks in here. Which here is the Maybelline 420 Deepish Cherry dark red. This is the first lipstick I ever got. It's really nice dark and it's similar to what's on my lips today, which you may or may not be able to see. But what's actually on my lips is the Manusa's Makeup Lolita lipstick. And here it is. I don't know how well you can see it because the lighting and I believe I've licked it off. But that is what I am wearing on my lips. I am totally an expert at lipstick. And that's all that's up there. Oh, speaking of, while I close this, I'm going to tell you a little story. When I was younger, I really didn't think I would like lipstick. Because it got in my way of eating and it was just gross. But as I grew up and got lipstick, now it's one of my favorite makeup items. Because it's just so easy to put on when you put on nothing else. And it adds a good pop of color to your face. And then it's so much easier to do than like eyeliner or eyeshadow or anything else. And mascara is just, no, it's gross. I don't like it. Alright, down here in the bottom, I have a variety of things. And I'm just talking with my hands. To start off, in here I have the CoverGirl Naturally Luminous Blush. It is a very light pink, so this it does not really show up on my skin. But I'll show you. It's very overflowing. I don't like these types of containers because they always get moved around. But that is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a shimmer inside of it. Which is really nice for an all... Oh, there's fallout. But it's really nice for an all-over powder. It gives me a nice shimmer 
and just dusty pink look before I put on my blush or any of my coloring. As well in here I have a NYX matte finish, Finny matte, Finny matte, I don't know how to say that, spray. I believe this was also in my favorites. This is just a setting spray by NYX that I use to cover my face when I'm all done. I also have a Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller in light medium. This is a bit too dark for my skin, so I don't often use it, but I use it to cover my under eyes. And I also stopped using it because it's really cold, and when I put it on my under eyes, my eyes then start to water. Next I have my makeup brush set that I'll actually show you in a little bit once I'm putting everything away. But as you delve deeper into this kit, my kit and my makeup bag, you'll see I have Olay Fresh Effects Everything Off Wipes. These are the makeup wipes I usually use to remove everything. They work pretty well. They're not super great on eye makeup, but they do the job. And then I also have the Garnier Skin Active Purifying Oil-Free Cleansing Towelettes. They're charcoal, I believe. Yes, they are charcoal. They are not black, sadly. They're just plain white wipes, if you can see in there. But they're really nice. They just give an overall clean feeling. And after I remove my makeup, it feels like it adds more, like, it adds more moisture to my skin. And it just feels cleaner than the other one. Then here I have pot mascara that I have not used in forever. I absolutely hated pot mascara. It was one of my least favorite things. It's all nasty and gross in there, if you can even see that. I don't know why I still have this in my makeup bag, but it's gross. It's by L'Oreal. It works and it stays well, but I just cannot apply it to save my life. And then I also have from Color Girl a Liquiline Blast eye pencil. That's all that's left of the pencil. I don't know how much was ever actually in it. And on the other end, there's a smudger that doesn't really work. It's basically just a floppy thing for, like, it's a floppy thing. I don't really understand the point of it. Then I have a Maybelline palette that I have not depotted and put into a Z palette, and it's the Rock Nudes by Maybelline. For some reason I think I tried to depot this and it didn't work, but maybe that was with some other palette. I tried to depot it and it didn't really work. In which case, I wouldn't know where that palette is because it's not in here. But here's this. I really like this gold color down below as well as the purple next to it and the blue up here. But to be honest, I have not even used this palette. I almost always exclusively use the Graveyard Girl palette for regular daily looks or I use the palette in my Z palette for show choir looks because I only need the black in there. Next I have some off-brand beauty blenders that I bought off Amazon. I don't know how well these compare to the actual thing considering I haven't really used these. I've used the other one. But they seem to work well enough. You can see I've used this one a little bit. But honestly I'd rather use the other one or just my fingers to apply my Foundation. I'm not a very fancy gal when it comes to that. Next, I have the Maybelline Eye Studio uh, eyeshadow palette. It just has silver and three shades of purple. It looks like up in this corner I tried to depot this. Maybe this is what I was talking about. But either way, here's this. I remember I originally needed this for a show choir in eighth grade, and I have not used it since. As much as I like purple, I just feel it doesn't go well with my eyes. I have green eyes. Uh, I don't know how you can see my eyes, but those are my eyes. I don't know, it would have to go with a specific outfit. Next I have my very first mascara I ever got. I should probably throw this away, it's probably really old. But it's just Maybelline's Great Lash Mascara. Look at that gross clump on the end. I don't know, that's gross. But Mascara. I don't like mascara. I have so much of it because they come in samples at the time. Next I have the Fresh Sugar Passion 
lipstick, lip balm stuff, lip tint, in, I believe, rose. No, the color's passion, I believe. Yeah, the color's passion. And it's red, and this is actually really, like, greasy and weird on my lips. At first, I thought I would love it, but it's actually just too greasy and gross for my lips, and it doesn't give it much of a tint, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Right next I have Sephora blotting papers that bl they're basically just charcoal blotting papers. They blot away the oil on my face. They work really well and they work well with makeup if you just gently pat your face while you are wearing makeup. Next I have some sample makeup remover wipes. I have two Sephora Express eye makeup wipes that I have yet to use. Because I just recently got these, and so I will use them next time I'm removing my eye makeup at Show Choir. And then I have a milk makeup removing pad that's a micellar water makeup remover, and it's supposedly biodegradable. So that's nice, and that's nice. And then lastly, I have my brushes that are all in here. And it looks like. Oh god, just putting running my fingers through them. They're all not happy. I need to clean these really badly. Usually I clean them halfway through the show choir season, so... So here's my just regular all over blush brush, foundation brush, I use this for all the main stuff. It's from Ego Tools and it's just regular, it's not super dense, it's just a regular... I don't know, it's just a regular brush, I'm not good at explaining things. Next I have my... All of the brush that I use for my translucent setting powders is the floofiest brush from e.l.f. that they possibly have. It's super soft, super loose. It's great for just all over powders, throwing stuff all over your face. And it's great. Next. Oh, this is a really old brush. I haven't used this in forever. I don't even know where it's from. But it's just an angled brush and then... Oh, that's gross. I think I use that to apply the glitter. The glitter sticks really badly. But here is that brush. I forget what that's called. Next I have, I think, maybe this would be a, no this is like a smudge brush I feel. Also from Eco Tools. And that's just one of my brushes. Oh nope, it's on the floor now. I should clean that. Here I have the Oh, I've, you, you can tell I've used this a lot because I've rubbed off the actual name, but I think this is just a shadow brush. I use this to put on my eyeshadow. It's pretty dirty because I use a variety of colors. I think this is a pointed concealer brush. Yep, that's exactly what it says. And it's very stiff here up at the top. You're supposed to use it for concealer, but I don't use concealer brushes. Also from Eco Tools, as they all are besides the e.l.f. one and this random black one that's probably like Maybelline or something. Probably came in some palette, I don't know. I have this, which one has an angled liner brush, and then another one of these brushes. I, pr I typically use this for either applying eyeshadow or blending stuff. But more often I use this brush for blending, actually, and then down here I also have a more shorter, like, I don't know. This shorter, more dense brush, I use that for like more in there things. Like, if I really want a specific area to have eyeshadow, I kind of use that, like maybe like for a crease or something. And then finally, I have this really tiny brush, which is supposedly a lip liner brush, but I don't ever line my lips. So, that was everything that was in my makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will link all the products that were in my makeup bag down in the description below from a variety of sites, probably mostly Sephora if they are on there, but also a lot of those things, especially the older items, are from drugstores, and so I either won't link those or they'll be to like Target or Walmart, where you can get probably most of those things from Maybelline or anything. But thank you guys for watching this, I hope you enjoyed seeing what is in my makeup bag.
makeup bag. Leave a like down below if you want to see that. I also have a my smaller makeup bag that actually has all my face masks in it, the variety of them that I have. So if you'd like to see that, leave a like down below. Clip so, click subscribe so you don't miss that because you'll probably end up doing it whether or not you want to see it or not because I want to do that. And leave a comment down below telling me what I should do, telling me if I should do that video, any other videos I should do, any other things you want to see. I have that bag. I told you my purse will be done eventually, but not quite yet. And I think that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!